Hey everybody, 47 Mark 4 here, back with Absolute Thermal. So if you can believe it, it's episode 10 already. And you know, when we do 10 episodes of a series, we do a world download. Uh, so after this episode, I'm going to go to spawn, I'll chuck all the stuff into a chest, and then I will uh, pack up the world and I will upload it to my CurseForge page. Uh, I'll throw a link to that down in the description. You guys can download it, play with it. You know, people seem to like that. So, hey, go nuts. All right. So now today I got two things I want to do. One, I want to show you the ridiculous thing that I built overnight. And then I want to go mining. And so let's take a look at this ridiculous thing first. Uh, because I kind of had a thought overnight about animals and farming. So one of the blocks that Thermal is kind of missing is a rancher, right? How could you ranch animals? Like, I, I need leather for books so I can enchant everything. So I need a cow farm. So I built, you know, the design from Mumbo, uh, you know, for the automatic cow cooker kind of thing. And actually, let's grab a little bit of the wheat here and, uh, oh, don't need the egg. And let's take a peek here. I don't know if I have tons of wheat. I've been feeding these guys pretty good. All right, so let's grab the wheat, and I'll show you my modified design here. So I took out the lava blade, and I made a little drop chute right here, uh, you know, for the babies to go in. And I've got this thing here called an insightful condenser. Now, the insightful condenser collects XP, and you can boost XP collection by putting in a, uh, what do they call it here? A uh, catalyst. Well, lapis is a good catalyst. Gives you a 100% bonus. And I did the same thing over here for sheep. And so what happens is I'm going to breed these cows. They're going to drop babies. The creature encapsulator is going to pick up the babies and instabulate them. And then it's going to give me their drops and some, uh, you know, some uh, essence of knowledge. So I'll give you a show here, right? So you come up here and you push the button and they all bob up and down in the water. And then I can hold right click and all the love hearts. Now they're dropping babies. Right? And there's the babies and poof. Now they're in here. And now they're in here. Now they're my leather farm. <laughs> Is that like the meanest thing ever, right? Like we're making a... Uh, cow baby we're making suede oh man i'm so sorry <laughs> now i did the same thing over here for the sheep right and let's breed up the sheep and you know uh, capture the babies all right there we go all nice and bred up now the problem is when it processes the sheep i don't get wool it's not one of the drops right so uh i can do this right sheep right click and stabulate uh, all we get is xp and mutton oh well it was worth the thought so i might put the sheep back and make double cows and that way i can make lots and lots of leather to make lots of books i guess i'll put that and that in there and get more essence of knowledge now that's seven buckets that's okay essence but it's not amazing essence and you know i found something that does it a lot better and I'll show you here. Let's, uh, let's drop that stuff off. And let's grab some coal and some iron. And I'll come down here. Now, behind the wall here, I've got a bunch of villagers that I've been trading with. And I was debating about putting the villager market in. But if you use the villager market, you know, the XP just shows up on your bar. Well, I don't want that to happen. I want the XP to be collected by the insightful condenser and go into the tank. So I've got 12 and a half buckets and I've been digging trading with this dude right here who is the weaponsmith. Not a great deal on coal. I need to go find another one. Oh, already broke your trade and you're not going to, oh, you are going to reset. Okay. But he's got this deal for iron and we are just golden on iron. Are you going to reset your trade now? Uh, let's see. Nope. Okay. So we got to trade with him this way. And right, so, you know, I just kind of come down here and coal and iron really aren't a problem. Let's just, uh, let's mass trade with him. Right, there we go. And could you reset your trade now? I feel like you would. Yep, there we go. And I'll do that. Boop. 
right? So now I got 24 emeralds, and I'll take the emeralds over to the cleric, and you can have those. Give me four ender pearls. Very cool, right? And now let's see what we got here. Now I got 18, almost 19 buckets of XP just by trading that I was going to do anyways. I think that's pretty awesome right there. And all I got to do is every once in a while, just give it a little lapis. Very cool. I like that a lot. Now, to get the materials to trade with, yeah, we've been mining. Well, I want to go and automate some mining today. So I've got myself a strong box here with all kinds of stuff. And we're going to go set up the Quarry Plus. Now, I want one more block from this mod before I uh, go out there. And I want the Pump Plus right here. Pump Plus. So I'm going to need iron... Yeah, iron, gold, redstone, glass, and cactus. All right, let me just grab these. So iron and gold and redstone. And I remember it was a lot of cactus. And I remember it was a ridiculous amount of glass. It's basically all the glass I've got, right? And what you do is you build one of these, the Workbench Plus. And let's take a look here. Right here, the Workbench just a couple of blocks of stuff. Not really that expensive. And the quarry itself wasn't terrible, right? This isn't a ton of stuff to get yourself an automatic quarry. And so you give it the things. Here, take this and those and take all of this. And when you've met the requirements, you get an option down here. Click once and it's going to tell it to go ahead and craft one. Click twice and it'll continuously craft. Well, I only want one, so it's going to take, uh, let's take a look here. It's going to take some energy for a pump. Uh, let's see, 320,000, I don't know, is that uh, me megajoules? I'm not sure of the conversion. Now, I'm pretty sure the advanced pump is a replacement for the ranged pump. I'm going to play with that one a little bit. Uh, if it is, maybe ranged pumps come out, I don't know. And this guy's got a little bit left to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go set up the quarry. And uh, I've got all of this to power the quarry as well. We are going to use refined fuel as the fuel for the quarry. Now this pump, I really just want it to suck up the lava just so I don't have uh, really lagginess from flowing liquids being chunk loaded. That's all I really want to do with it. It is one way you could get lava and water. All right, so you are done and it looks like you disappeared but you went into an adjacent inventory which by the way you can see i've been making myself all kinds of books which is why we set up the uh suedomatic 5000 i feel bad <laughs> oh oh and this right here by the way so after we got done making all of this uh so i've got the compactor here and it's got tons and tons of patterns did you know you could do this with refined storage now you can stack crafters and they'll go all the way in. This one doesn't even have to point straight down. Like I could put it there pointing at the other crafter and it would work. Oh, I guess I got to do that. And it would work on this block. That's a new feature. I really like that. So you don't have to uh, stack crafters on all different sides. So I think, I think I've got everything I need. I'm not sure, but we'll go and try. And here's the funny thing. Caches can't go in strong boxes. I did not know that, right? That's kind of different. So I'm going to pick up the strong box, and I really like that. I probably need to take chest transporters out of the pack uh, because strong boxes are an adequate replacement. I don't know. Uh, that one I don't really care that much about because people tend to like it. So give me just a second. I'm going to teleport if I can find my... What did I do with my teleport? Oh, right there. So, let's go out to the mining dimension. All right, so, now that we're here, I've been mining that way, right? So, that way, back and forth, there aren't a lot of stuff to go and get. So, we're going to go and set this dude up over here, I think. Yeah, I think, like, right about here might be a good spot, right? And we'll kind of go that way and that way, maybe. And so, I know, oh, I already know the first thing I forgot. I forgot to get myself some redstone. Do I have anything that would work? No. Anything in the bag? No. Of course not. All right. Give me one second. We got to go back and forth. 
All right, one quick trip back, and now everything is cool. All right, because I wanted to make sure... Yeah, we gotta have some torches. I brought a stack of redstone just in case. So, the very first thing is, I think, setting up the markers, right? So, I need to get this marker, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a redstone torch, right? Uh, so, that then gives me this right here. So, I think the max size is 256 by 256. So, let's see. This is, uh, I'm just watching my my dimension here. So, this is... 666. All right, so I'm going to fly over to negative 2, no, negative 410. Uh, give me just a second. All right, so we're at 638 and 410. So that should be the spot, right? That should be the spot. And I don't think I need the fourth one. I don't think I do. I think I can do that. Yep, see, going that way tells me that it's made the correct box. Right, I only need to do three quarters. Uh, so, let's come back over here. Yep. I lost the lines when I went out of loaded or lazy chunk distance. I think that was the deal. All right, so I don't need you anymore. So you are now the spot. And that laser is kind of hard on the frame rate. So I'm just going to throw down the quarry. There we go. And so now it knows its box, right? And it's already going to clear the grass. Now, it doesn't have any power, right? So we have to work on that. Now, if I put down the pump as well, this pump is going to pump out the liquids, you know, from the quarry. So let's go ahead and start making uh, our power setup. And let me take a look. Oh, man, I'm in a chunk. That's excellent. All right. <clears throat> now that I know I'm in a chunk. So uh, let's work this backwards. I have got myself an energy cell that, uh, you know, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to put it, no, I don't want it there. I don't want it there. I don't, I don't. I want it right here. Right? And then we'll say input everywhere and output on the back. Right? And, hey, did you have some energy in you? Oh, you did. You totally did. All right. Uh, stop for the moment. Right? Let's hopefully we remember that we did that. And I'm going to make you a little bit better. There you go. Now you can hold more power. All right. So then I'm going to need to get my compression dynamos and these dynamos all set up. And, you know, I'm just going to do this in a line, I think, just to be neat. Right. There's my compression dynamos. And I'll take power. Yeah, we'll take power right there. And let's see. I guess I could do this one and this one, and I'll go something like that, maybe. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's turn them all like this, right? Let's turn them all just like that. I think that'll be nice. All right, so you guys, I got to feed refined fuel. So refined fuel process is going that way. All right, so you are going to be these guys here. Yep, let's do this. All right, so over here, uh, let's say right here, you're going to be my refined fuel process, and it's going to be like this. Magma crucible with a cache, and one of you caches, yeah, I put some coal in, right? So, oh man, was it this one? Was it this one? No, of course not. You know I'm about to set them all down, right? Oh, there you are. Okay, let's do this. So you, sir, you are going to take in coal, and you're going to make refined fuel. Done. Uh, no, you're going to make liquefacted coal. All right, so you are going to take in liquefacted coal, and you are going to output what? Uh, so liquefacted. Liquefacted coal uses. So you're going to give me tar and naphtha. Okay, so the tar, no, the naphtha go to the right. The tar go to the top. And the tar balls, I'm just going to stick over in that guy. That'll be a little funky for wiring. Uh, you know what we could do? We could probably we could probably run it underground. How about that? That'll be a little nicer, right? So let's do this. Let's run it underground. I better switch this to single, right? And we'll do something like this to get the tar balls uh, right over into this dude. And I might as well pick this stuff up with me right here. We can start doing this as we go along. Right? 
So, oh, I lost all of those dirt blocks because I'm voiding things with my bag. Uh, I got to fix that too. All right. So satchel, you can turn off and I can cover all of these dudes in later. And let's see, item ducks. Yep, item ducks. You can go right there, right here, right? So now that's going to go over and feed this guy. Very cool. Now, these guys are going to need water, but I'll fix that in just a second. All right, so you, you are going to make uh, sulfur. And sulfur is something that we really need, right? And I'm pretty sure that that's what that does. So let's go back to liquefacted. Right, liquefacted coal, tarballs, we know. NAFTA makes, yep, sulfur and goes for refined fuel. All right, very cool, because I'm just going to collect the sulfur. I really, really wanted it. So here we go. Accept on the right, output, no, accept on the left, output on the right, and put all of my sulfur in my cache. And then I can take my fluidux, and I guess I will feed you guys, I think I'm going to come up, and I will feed you like this, right? Because right about here, boy, if I just hadn't destroyed that dirt. Uh, hold on, need a little bit of dirt. All right, so I think, yeah, I think right about here, yeah, let's do this. I'm going to have to put in my aqueous accumulator. So right here, let's feed these dudes some water. And, you know, just in case I make mistakes, let's do this. Let's get our aqueous accumulator, and oh, there's water right there. Okay, because I've got my, I've got my thing in my pack, right? I've got this reservoir right here. Okay, just making sure, you know, trying to eliminate the trips back and forth. You dudes went right there, aqueous accumulator. You accumulate, take your water, and you know, I'm gonna want you to go underneath. Right? I got a plan here. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go boop, boop, boop. Right there. But I also want you to put water right in that block space specifically. And, you know, if I really cared about being super, super neat, I guess I could, uh, I guess I could do that. Right? And I'd have to go over one. Let's just see. Right there. Something like that. Right? I don't, I don't honestly care. Right, right there. Okay, so you're accumulating water. Let's send water out of the bottom. And that should fill up these guys. Very cool. Going to do that. And I've got one more block. And the reason I want it right there is let's make these guys do a little bit better. There is the thermal mediator. And the thermal mediator right, makes adjacent dynamos run faster. And if I've been learning about COFH, when they say adjacent, I'm going to guess it's one block space. So you, sir, can accept water from the bottom, and now things go 20% faster, right? I just got myself a little uh, production speed boost right there. And let's see. I'm also going to have to get water over into the steam dynamo. Uh, that's a little ugly. That is... Oh, no, 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 no. Doesn't have to be. Does not have to be. What are you? Item duct, right? We can do something like this. Ah, uh, there's the water. There's the water. But if I go right there before I drown and take you out this way, yeah, there we go. And I guess I'll pop you up. Yeah, something like that, right? So let's go, I guess, up and over and right there, right? And dirt it back in. Eh, not too bad. So you're going to get your tar balls. You're going to get your water. Let's, uh, oh, I didn't need this level of upgrade. Well, it can't hurt. Let's upgrade all of these dudes. And do I have two left? I do. Uh, I probably am going to want one more. Probably going to want one more. But let's go ahead and let's get some stuff going on here. All right, so this setup here, you're going to be boiler. You're going to be turbine, right? And then these dudes right here, why do I only have two? Why do I only have two? Did I not pick up the third one? Hmm. All right, so I know I've got to make one trip back, right? Because I want ignition plugs. And let's use fuel catalyzers. Yeah, I think I want to fix that. I want to fix that. Give me just a second. 
All right, quick pop back and forth, and I think we're good. All right, so let's just get everybody upgraded right there. And my last one of these dudes. So let's see that right there. All right, so everybody's got uh, their specialty and, you know, saving fuel. All right, so you just need fuel, which means you need to, right, you're going to have to take in and you're going to have to auto input. And so you guys just need power. Yeah, you guys just need power. All right, so let's start wiring power up. You, sir, are going to output power on that side, right? And you're going to come and power those guys. And you and you don't require power. And then you four are going to run power just like that, right? And that should work. There should be enough power in there to kick this thing off, or is there not? Is there not? All right, uh, another plan. Yeah, another plan on how to do this. So, I just need this first guy to start running, so let's take this. Can I put you in here, and I will give you a charge. Now, you are not auto-inputting. Why are you not auto-input from the cache? Can you not do that? Is that not an option? Hmm, I was expecting you to be able to do that. Right? Because you need to... Uh, let's take a look. Liquefacted. Maybe I need to grind it first? No, magma crucible. Oh, pulverized coal. Ah, oh, pulverized coal. Okay. One second. One last hop. All right. So we got our pulverizer. Not hard to do. So let's see. Pulverizer, you, sir, go right here. And then we'll move this dude, right? I'll move that guy right there. And do I have... Yeah, right there. And you're also going to make sulfur too. You're going to make sulfur, and I'll hold on to that. All right. So now let's get this right. So you're going to input, and you'll auto-input. You are going to take that product that way and this product this way, and then you're going to... Uh, let's see. You're going to do that right? And that should work, right? You should be grinding down if you had power. And there you go. Borrow my power. And let's see, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I got one of those. And I'm pretty sure I brought myself some of these. Oh, yep. And I need to upgrade those. Need to upgrade. Uh, so these guys here should run better with these reflex columns, right? I'm pretty sure that uh, refined fuel... So let's take, that has the reflux column, and this has the reflux column. All right, so you guys will run better with that, and you are going to, I'll give you two, and I'll give you two, right? And let's see, so you're now making this stuff, which is over here, and you don't have any power, so let me borrow this, right? And I'll give you a little bit of power, and you should start to cook down into nafta oh you might have to go even faster uh only 50 rf a tick right so we could do that that's 100 rf a tick all right so did you come over here you've got some nafta all right and we'll do this right now you can start cooking down come on you can do it i probably ought to not put another one of those thermal mediators over here to cool these machines I think that would be kind of neat. Let's see. Fill you in. You're starting to make refined fuel, which should go out here. And I wonder what the, uh, I wonder what the use. Ah, right there. So that's now going to run at 400 RF a tick. And hopefully now the process will start to become self-sustaining. Hopefully. Right? Energy cell. Let's, uh, let's do this. Oh, you're really... Oh, because you're going to load power into this guy, right? But hopefully... All right, you're flat out of juice, but you're still kind of working. So hopefully these guys are now making enough power. Man, it's laggy around here, right? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so now we've reached the point where we're self-sustaining, and we are starting to go. Uh, and you've got upgrades in you, right? So just one. I probably need to make you faster. But you guys are, yeah, you're starting to catch up on fuel. Very cool. All right. So 
This dude should start outputting. And I'm going to output it into an ender chest. Right? Output into an ender chest. And uh, there's all my grass and my markers. Very funny. Right? I'm sure it had to clear that whole thing. And do you need a redstone signal to go? Do you need... Shouldn't you go? Oh, yep, yep, yep. Because, see, it's starting to... It was starting to clear the things. Right? It's just got a lot of them to do. It's got to take down this stuff right here. All right. And let's see. Yep. Oh, there it is. Or maybe it's putting them up. Right? Maybe it's putting them up. But it's clearly working. Now, the thing is, the quarry is going to move stuff, and I brought myself a nullifier. So, I don't care about the fluids that come out of this thing, and I just want to nullify them. So, this should, that should work, right? It shouldn't back up. Its tank is empty. You are, oh yeah, I can see it starting to go. I can see it starting to go. And you know, it's like 500 blocks that way. Yeah, I'm going to give it just a second. Oh, and we are mining. We are mining away. Now, do I want to keep all this stuff? Uh, I'll accumulate it for now, I think. But we better go set up the other end of this process at the house. But I do want to see this go. This is plenty of power for this thing. Yeah, we've totally got this going. And I can make the quarry better by enchanting it, right? That's why it's the enchanted quarry. But let's go take a look at this thing coming. Oh, yeah, look at that speed. Look at it go. Oh, dude, you're going to make it so laggy, but you're going to be awesome. Nice. So you are clearly going to be doing dirt for a while. You know, we might want to do something about that. We might want to do something about that. All right, well, let's do this. I brought another nullifier because I'm not really hurting for dirt. Yeah, I brought another nullifier and I've got cobble on me. And don't I have, uh, don't I have them ducks? Yes, I do. All right, so let's do this. Uh, you know, I probably could have used, oh, wait, do I have an item allocator? I do! All right, this isn't what I intended to do, but it's awesome. Another way to use the blocks. Item allocator. Yes, I like this even better. Nullifier. Ender chest. All right, so item allocator. Can't I... Can't I control you? Don't you have a, uh, can extract better than a hopper, hold controller shift to fine tune quantities, use while sneaking to do filtering. That's what I want. So you can, oh, it's all, it's all everything, everything in or out, everything in or out. Okay. Well, hold on. We can still do it. We can still do it. Slight rearrangement. I just want to play with the thermal blocks. Item allocator, another nullifier, right? Ender chest, and then I'll do this, and we'll whitelist only these guys. We'll auto input right here, and then I'll output like that, and you, right, like this. So you should start pulling these guys in. All right, an allocator, nope, not like that. Like this, okay, increase input. Yeah, do it a stack at a time. Do it a stack at a time, and you're just going to suck the dirt right out of there. Ah, uh, that's super good. That's awesome. So now I don't have to worry about clogging up refined storage. That's awesome. So all I've got to do, all I should have to do, is come here, and I'm going to claim and chunk load that one chunk. That's it. And we should have this thing just a running. Right? And you guys are just filling this up, and we're positive on energy. We have right now, so that's what, 1,200 RF a tick plus this one, 1,600 RF a tick? Uh, you really can't count that, so 1,200. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's go set up this last part at home. So where is my thingy? All right, back at the house. And, you know, I'm going to want to get, do I not have stack? Do I have speed? Let's take a look here. Do I have speed? Uh, so I do have speed. All right. And I'm missing sugar. All right. We got to program just a couple quick things because I want to do all of this. So let's see. Sugar, you're right here and you can go in. Uh, oops, too far. All right. So you can go right there. And, you know, I probably should put it in a pulverizer, but I'm too excited. 
and let's do stack. So right here, you're going to be those dudes, right? So like that, and I will put you in here. All right, so give me a stack. That'll take a minute to craft up, I think. And I probably can access it from the back here anyways. So I've got all this room back here. Let's go ahead and set down our ender chest. And we will import everything from this ender chest. And hopefully, uh, you know what? I can also tell it to blacklist dirt here. So the item allocator has a chance to uh, take out all the dirt. Right? And let's see. Right here, did I get my stack? Right? Just making sure once I start mining stuff that it's fast enough. But there we go. We have got ourselves quarry online using some coal power. And now the only thing that I'm probably going to do is just give it a bunch of coal. But I don't think it's going to use that much, honestly. I just don't. We've got tons and tons of it. I'll probably go and fill the cash up a little bit. Uh, but that's kind of the plan of the day. I'm super stoked. That worked out really nice. So I'm going to call it right there. I'm uh, 47 Mark IV, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, uh, you know, leave me a comment, uh, leave me a like, let me know what you thought, and then I will see you in the next episode.